Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft Forge for any version of Minecraft between 1.2 and 1.16, which is the latest version of Minecraft right now. To get started, you first need to have Minecraft installed and the version that you want mods for. So if you haven't yet installed Minecraft and launched the version you want mods on. So for us, we're going to do 1.16.4. So start it up first and make sure that it has all the files it needs. And once that's done, let Minecraft load. And then you can just turn it right back off. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to this page right here. It's oracle.com slash java slash technology slash java se. This basically... Uh, I'm, I'll be sure to put the links to these pages in the description and you're going to want to go down till you see Windows x64 and you'll download that with the exe at the end and you might have to create an account but either way do that and install that and then once that's installed you're gonna go to the Minecraft Forge website where you'll be able to get Forge itself and uh, depending on what version you want to use if you want 1.12 go to this one if you want 1.16 go to this one or any of the other versions in between and uh, you'll open show all versions here and you'll scroll down until you see the star right here and then go over to installer and click the i if you don't click the i it'll take you through some ads but you can directly download it through here and once that's done downloading you can double click it and it'll start this to start installing it click on install client and then click on ok and it could take a minute or two to get all the files downloaded. And then once that's done, just click OK. Now you should have Forge installed. So to check it, you can click on the Minecraft here. And then it should have changed from this to this. If it didn't change it, you can just click on this and it'll go. It'll show you these two options. And you just click on Forge. And then what you're going to want to do is launch the game to make sure it gets all the files it needs but we're just going to turn it right back off once it loads but you can tell that Forge is running because this stuff doesn't usually show up in regular Minecraft then you can just close it again and the next step will be getting mods so you'll go to this page it's Curse Forge. this is where the most mods are for Minecraft and Generally, it's the only place you want to look for mods at because you can't really trust other places. So on this page, you'll go to the Minecraft mods. I'll put a link in the description for this too. And then you'll want to make sure that you pick the version that, that you're running Minecraft on. If it's 1.12, scroll down to this one. And uh, if it's 1.16, you'll want to go to this one. And then from there you can just search through all these mods. Once you pick a mod that you want, let's just do just enough items here. You'll go to the mod page and then over here you'll click on this download next to the version that you're using. And 
then keep that and you'll see it in your downloads right here JEI 1.16.4 the way to install it from here though is to you'll have to type this into your explore percent app data percent just like I have it here and then you'll click enter and you'll see some other things but you'll also see dot minecraft click on dot minecraft and inside you should see this mods folder right here double click that to open it and then you're just going to drag the mod file into the folder now that it's here everything should be set up to run minecraft with the mod installed so open minecraft again make sure it says forge and then click play Then you'll click single player, set it up however you want to test it, and I'm going to put it on peaceful, creative. And then I'll create a world, and then I'll show you that the mod should be installed now. So we're in the world. Looks pretty normal but the mod is installed. JEI opens up this thing right here so clearly it's installed. And then on the home screen before you start in a game you can click on mods and then it should tell you what mods are installed so this is just enough items the mod we installed. And that should do it. You should be able to install pretty much any mod from Curse Forge the same way I just showed you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed and got some use out of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and uh, if you could give this video a like and maybe subscribe to my channel if you want more.